Now this uh, question 2 which is uh, based on motion in a straight line, it says that two cars P and Q start from a point at the same time in a straight line and their positions are represented by x as a function of time you can see at plus bt square and uh, x of q this is uh, position of p and this is position of q ft minus t square once again this is a function of time now they are asking at what time do the cars have the same velocity that means here you have to say that vp and vq they have to be same velocity of p and velocity of q that has to be same now how will you get the velocity of p simply by differentiating this expression isn't it if you differentiate at plus bt square what do you get you get a plus 2 bt isn't it you get at is a bt square is 2 bt and if you differentiate this expression you will be getting the velocity of q that is equal to f minus 2t so all you have to do you have to just calculate the value of time so you can write here 2 bt plus 2t this is equal to f minus a so for that matter time when the velocities will be same for p and q that will be f minus a upon you can take uh, 2 common b plus 1 so this kind of expression you will have to search you can see this is the correct answer fourth answer is the correct one so i am marking answer 4 for uh, this question number 2 so now switch over to question 3 Now here in uh, question 3 which is based on non-uniform uh, circular motion you can see it is saying that in the given figure this is the figure you can see acceleration has been given it is making 30 degree with the radius radius is r the particle is moving in clockwise direction all such descriptions have been given in the figure. So in the given figure acceleration has been given as 15 meter per second square as you can see here represents the total acceleration you can clearly see this acceleration is not pointing towards the center it is making some angle that means it is a non-uniform circular motion. So in case you want the centripetal acceleration then you will have to take the component of acceleration that is a cos 30 it will be pointing towards the center and centripetal acceleration happens to be v square by r all such things will be needed here. So the clockwise direction in a circle of radius r radius r has been given 2.5 meter at a given instant of time as it is represented here. So now you have to find out the speed of the particle very simple. You try to see what is the centripetal acceleration. We know that centripetal acceleration is nothing but V square by R. So this centripetal acceleration is just the component of this total acceleration which is 15. So 15 cos 30 degree. 15 cos 30 degree is the centripetal acceleration and this will be equal to V square by R. The radius value that has been given to be 2.5 meter. You have to take all MKS system units. So V value if you will calculate. Uh, this will be the uh, 15 cos 30 into 2.5 square root. So approximately you can say 5.7 meter per second will be the value you will be getting for this. So for that matter you will be marking answer 3 for this you understand 5.7 meter per second. So I am marking answer 3 for uh, this uh, question 3. Now let us switch over to next question that is question 4. 